tend to really look forward to YouTube or other sources that's going to try to help us how to deal with certain things emotionally and physically. And one of those things being is letting go and more so the weight loss. Now, by weight loss, you may think, you know, that, oh man, you know, I've gained so much weight during the pandemic and then therefore you want to lose this, this dad bod or this mom bod or whatever people want to call it. But the truth of the matter being is that things happen for a reason and it's up to you to discover the glory in that. More so not just discover the glory in that, but give God the praise for it no, through, through everything, through the, th through the ups and the downs, because it's kind of like playing Street Fighter, man. We want to win, but we don't want to lose. We want to win so we can say we're the best, but we don't want to lose because we may think that we're not, not gaining anything from losing. You're not getting anything from winning except glory, honor, respect, right? Success even. And in order for you to gain those successes, what you gotta do, you gotta struggle. You gotta understand and know what it is to let go, what it is you have to do to improve your game. So, let me give you a power edge real quick, man. Losing weight. It's so easy to gain the weight, but, so, but, but it's harder to lose. It's arduous to lose the weight. Right, you know, it, it's it's easy. It's kind of like buildings. You, you, you're it's easy to tear down, but it's much harder to build up. And when I'm talking about the weight, we're not only just talking about the weight loss. We're talking about mental loss. We're also talking about trauma. We're talking about trauma as well. Not just only drama, but trauma also. Let me break it down for you real quick, man. So let me give you something. First Peter chapter three and three and four says, "Your your adornment must not be merely external." braiding the hair and wearing gold jewelry or putting on dresses but let it be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit which is precious in the sight of God now what does this mean the body image is what I'm talking about here we're not talking about women who inject themselves you know with, with whatever it is that that inflates the behind and the breast just to, to entice the men and women out there on OnlyFans Instagrams and whatnot man we're talking about an image of yourself, of who you are. That's what's gonna make the other person think, wow, this person has something that I don't, and I must know what that is. Now you can be happy, but you can also fake happy, right? Because if you facade happy, or rather if you facade sadness with happiness, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can only wear that facade for so long before you break down and say, man, I'm really sad, something's really wrong with me. Again, it's much easier to tear down than it is harder to build because you have to go to school in order for you to, to build a, a computer or you don't even have to go to school for that these days, right? You can go on YouTube, but for you, you have to mentally understand what it means to build, right? But then what it means to let go, what it means to let go of some of the past trauma, right? Well, Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 says forget the former things do not dwell on the past it's simple right let me, let me, let me read that back to you forget the former things do not dwell on the past that's it's, it's very simple those are some short those are short verses man if it's if it's i mean if, if it's so simple and easy why do we struggle well it's quite simple we tend to consume what we may think is bad for, what may be good for us, but in reality, we know somewhere in our conscious minds, man, that it's really bad. But it's kind of like eating a lot of candy. You know it's not good for you, but you tend to consume it, and then all of a sudden, you consume more and more and more until all of a sudden, you look at yourself and like, dang, I really gained a lot of this weight, man. Or, dang, I'm having some medical issues now. So what does that mean? Well, it's gonna be a struggle for you to lose now. That's what that means. But through it all, God has you covered, man. And through it all, you got people who are really your friends, who have family who are really your family. You have loved ones who are really your loved ones that's gonna be there for you every step of the way, no matter what, man. And that means that if that person is investing their time in you, and if God's gonna invest that their time with, or in you, then why not take advantage of simply getting up, letting go, and doing now. Because remember what I just said, it's 10, it is very hard 
to, 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 to lose the weight. It's very hard to build, man. But I tell you what, it's a journey. And that's what it means to lose, is to go through a journey of understanding, having fun, smiling through it all, man. That's what that means. And that's how you're gonna win a street fight. That's how you're gonna be good in many things that you do. Be it at gaming, be it in art, be it in entertainment, be it being a scientist, being whatever, whoever, whichever. Because we can easily say, oh man, this is so easy when we the show. It's easy, man, it's easy. But ask those people, how long did it take them to get to where they are now? Man, do yourself a favor, yo. I'm also gonna give you this little bit of a nugget before this goes out. Don't let negativity define who you are. Cause that's not building. You're literally tearing yourself down. Do not allow negativity to determine and, de and, and to define who you are. Your past doesn't define who you are. Who you are now is what determines who you are. What you learn from your journey determines who you are. Your past does not determine who you are. This is Bruce L. I love being tall.